Okay. So in today's session, I'll be giving you an intro about what are the things which we are going to cover uh, as per the OSCP is preparation. If it's an OSCP. So our first four modules will be working all around uh, Linux, the basic commands, uh, bash scripting, and some important but necessary tools, or you can say it, utilities. So uh, by default, OSCP, is, uh, OSCP follows the architecture of your Linux, which means having a knowledge of Linux and a complete hands-on on Linux will give you a pretty much very good advantage. Then we'll be working or starting towards our next module, that is next two modules are all about information gathering and scanning, which will be working in a lab procedure, where lab as in either we'll go for an online lab, uh, which will be completely F4C, or we can go with a lab, which will be configured in your own system. So we will yeah. be working about different ways of gathering information about a target, as well as doing a reconnaissance in the network using NMAP and NS2 scripts and other scripts. So which will give you pretty much advantage of it, which also includes your enumeration. Enumeration is basically the key for which we can work about uh, on a further exploitation methods. Once it is being done, then our next uh, class, next module will be all about Metasploit. Yeah, Metasploit framework. I am bouncing Metasploit framework in, in this uh, on the seventh chapter because uh, sorry, in the yes, in the seventh chapter because Metasploit will be completed from our end and which we can be using, which we'll be using for uh, accordingly in the whole examination. Because in OSCP's exam, you are only allowed to use Metasploit framework for once, but you can use MSF Venom as many times as you want. But opening the Metasploit framework and opening the Metas MSF console is just allowed only once. So you'll be using it only for one machine. Once we are done with it, we'll be working about web application penetration testing. Sorry, uh, sorry about the typo. Uh, penetration testing. Now here it will be a little clause here. Here we will be looking all about uh, in uh, injections, that is injection vulnerability, which include your SQL injection, command injection, and come again. No. Not over stop there. Uh, because here injections, we have only three different categories which are considered in OSC. So our main focus will be to target only and only things which will be coming in offensive security exam, that is OSC. Apart from this okay. injection attack, we, we will be working upon file inclusion vulnerabilities. Then apart from this file inclusion vulnerability, we'll be looking about uh, path traversal. And at the end, we will be looking about the arbitrary file upload vulnerability. Yeah, arbitrary file upload uh, vulnerability. So these are the four vulnerabilities which are required in our OSCP exam. So all the machines uh, in which you will be having a web application, uh, these four vulnerabilities are one of those uh, you will be finding uh, by anyhow. Then, Along with this, uh, a web application testing will be also looking for burp suite. Because burp suite will be helping you a lot while intercepting the traffic and bypassing certain uh, security mechanism on the following, on the above one mentioned. Once uh, we are done here, so we'll be looking about uh, brute forcing, which will be also included here itself. So. Once we are done with all these stuff that is brute forcing and we are able to uh, find it, we'll be working upon finding exploits. <laughs> exploits. So it's not always necessary that you will, uh, the vulnerabilities you will be getting will be there inside your search exploit or inside your system. So you need to download certain uh, code snippet files for uh, breaching into those vulnerabilities. So from here, we'll be able to grab the access of the system and then we'll be looking about escalations, privilege escalations. Now, uh, the next topic, it's optional for you, which is known as buffer overflow. Why I'm saying optional for you? 
because uh, in the new content of the OSCP, they have removed buffer over. So it's up to you whether you want to pursue this topic of buffer overflow or not. It's completely in your hands. Once we are done with buffer overflow, we'll be looking about PowerShell Empire. It is uh, a topic which has again been excluded, but I love to go for this thing because it will give you a much more hands-on while you'll be performing post-exploitation. Once we are done with it, we'll be going for active directories. Okay, active directories, which is, which is a part of infrastructure. And before going to active directories, we'll be looking about uh, tunneling. So we'll be looking about all these uh, concepts for OSCP. So if you will check out the OSCP's course content, so I cannot say any of the module has been there. So these are the things which we will be looking about in and out with a hands-on practical. But uh, for the active directives, I cannot guarantee you for every topic you will be getting a hands-on practical because there is no free available lab but I will try to make sure to uh, install the things in the system and show you and make you practice on it as much as possible. So here it comes only this term and condition about active directory. For each and every topic, we'll be going for practicals, we'll be going for not theoreticals, we'll be only going for practicals and practices. Now, mm -hmm. if you choose any of these topic, uh, okay, before mm -hmm. going to, towards, uh, towards the topic, uh, the thing is, uh, I guess you know the format of OSCP's exam. Do you? No, probably if you can give me a gist, that would be helpful. I know, but it is okay. very vague. No, no, that, that, that's fine. I, I, I won't take much time in explaining that. So you will be getting sets of IP, three set of independent IPs. Okay, three sets of independent IP addresses. Where it would be, could be any of the IP addresses, uh, doesn't matter but all these three are independent of each other. Then we will be having three set of active directory IP address. Sorry, I am again asking my pardon because of this mis uh, typing. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, active directory IP. So from one, you will be getting a domain controller. Okay, so here it will be, you will be getting a domain controller, which will be directly available to you, which will directly interactive with you. The rest of IPs will be the nodes. Okay, so you need to grab the take over this whole subnet of the domain controller. So it is an important part because it is required it is necessary for tracking the or for passing the OSCP and so So it doesn't matter how much you work for it, you need to focus more upon Active Directory at this point. So Active Directory is something which you will be requiring or which you will be tracking down for clearing mm -hmm. your OSCP's exam. So passing marks is 70%, which includes uh, 40, uh, 40 marks for Active Directory's machine and rest other parts for the uh, above machine. So anyhow, regardless of whatever you do, it is necessary or compulsory, you can say, for cracking this uh, AD set. So that's the exam criteria. And you will be given 23.5 hours, which means almost almost 23 hours and 45 minutes for cracking these IP addresses. And next 24 hours will be for you to generate the report, which includes each and every possible scenarios which you have gone through, including the screenshots of the success attempts. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Does, it all, does it also include um, something like a DNS, DHCP, uh, and then HTTPS, and then all the protocols? See, uh, when we talk about enumeration, in enumeration, moreover, you will be getting a couple of protocols, not couple, you will be getting an FTP protocol for enumerate. You will be getting SNMP protocol to enumerate. You will be getting SMTP protocol to enumerate. You will be getting SSH to enumerate. You can also get Telnet to enumerate. You will be getting SMB to enumerate. You will be getting HTTP or you can say HTTP. PS to enumerate. And 
like there might be couple of more protocol which you will be getting no no dns because in oscp's exam you won't be getting any dns so dns if you will be getting it would be like just to grab the ip address of the domain controller using the dns so no you won't be getting any dns services to enumerate over here but we will be going or we'll be learning how you can enumerate the dns service inside this module that is information gathering and scanning and enumeration so yes i'll be teaching you all about the dns enumeration plus uh, there are couple of chapters in oscp's guide like nisis which is something you cannot use in your oscp's exam but offensive security wants you to learn about nisis because it's an automated uh, tool for performing the yeah. ba and pt so yeah. you cannot yeah. use nisis but they want you to learn the nisis as well and how about uh, ddos attack and dos attacks uh, okay. no they, they are prohibited in oscp's exam so neither we will be going through the dns or uh, dos attack or uh, uh, ddos attack it's completely prohibited so they will be going to like going on the approach the practical aspect and the principles that attack and methodologies which will be covering up then they will be giving you small session for report writing and here it comes information gathering then vulnerability scanning then introduction to web applications common attack vector then injection attacks then client yeah sorry i missed this one that is client side attacks so uh, i beg my pardon that i missed client side attack attacks then locating public exploits and fixing them antivirus evasion password attacks we have included in the web application so i'll be include it will be done for the both network as well as web application then we'll be going for privilege escalation for both windows and linux then we will be going for port redirection and ssh tunneling and metasploit framework then active directory so each and everything has been uh, covered up after going through web application secure uh, testing we will be going for client side attacks though it doesn't have any significance in the oscp's exam it's basically used for performing the rat taming just for gathering the user agents information so still it doesn't have any significance but we will be going through client side attacks as well so these are the contents which we will be going through uh, in the practical aspect let me uh, uh, note it down every aspect we will be covering will be having a Practical. Okay. For each and every topic, we'll be having a practical. In Metasploit framework, it will be also going for uh, antivirus revisions. So these are the topics which uh, we will be covering for the OSP. Now you might be thinking, like, where we can be performing the lab lab aspects or the practical aspects. So we are having uh, machines from Well Hub. that is the offline machines which will be going then will be going for in the box or try hack me like stuff which will be providing you online these both are the online platforms where we will be uh, download we will be performing upon some specific selections of machines and then we are having this well hub which will be giving you virtual machine to download and to perform then once we are done with it will be going for playground which is provided by offensive security uh you can see for 2 to 3 hours a day they are providing you free access to a machine so we will be utilizing that time period for gaining access to this playground and solving the machines which are of oscp's level or which are oscp machines so basically oscp doesn't makes you a fine tester it makes you a methodologist which will be helping you in performing the fine testing so oscp clearly says that if you are doing oscp you will be able to generate or create your own uh, pen testing methodology pen testing methodology as in like some people have this methodology to directly go for kernel based attack or kernel based exploit some persons have the methodology to gain the service access and then go for the user access and then for the highest user that is root or admin access some people yeah. have this tendency to directly gain the root access or to directly gain the user access so pen yeah. this oscp course content is going to teach you how you can generate or develop your own methodology out of it. 
how strong are we going to look at web application vulnerabilities? Uh, to be very honest, SQL injection will be going for the three kinds of SQL injection. First one is the authentication bypass. Second one is your union-based SQL injection. And third one is blind-based. In blind-based, we'll be going for Boolean blind and as well as time-based uh, SQL injection. Then uh, command injection will be going for all the possible ways where you can perform a command injection. And XX has been new, something which has been introduced in OSCP. So we'll be going up to the uh, medium level low, medium level of difficulty in XXE. Then for file inclusion, path traversal, arbitrary file upload, we'll be going to the every way possible, which is for every way which is possible to exploit a web application using uh, file inclusion, path traversal, and arbitrary file upload. Which means is that for, means that means let's say yes, if the application is behind web, should I be able to still uh, do a penetration testing? Uh, no, sir. WAF, see, right, I, I, awaiting WAF is not a part of OSCP. Uh, if you are talking in general, yes, you can still perform, but OSCP doesn't teach you that. Is there any specific question related to the content which we will be covering? Because all of the content we will be covering is officially declared by your offensive security. So, uh, so is there anything more specific you want me to go on? So I will go on onto it. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I, I, I believe uh, the, the attack portion of it is what I was mostly looking into. Let's say if I have a, see, we talked about AV aviation, right? So similarly, mm -hmm. that, uh, to perform any any uh, application which is hosted behind the web and fire, oh, okay. how are we going to do a pen testing? Most of this would be, uh, they would be blocking it, right? So exactly. how are we going to do that is what I want to do. Okay, uh, in general, let me tell you, if there is a web, you first try to find out the root server or the seed server or seed IP of it, and then you can directly perform for it. Why, see, in my whole time period, even if there is a web uh, for performing the testing, the, the client usually gives us the IP address, which is accessible without the web. So that's the first thing. But OSCP doesn't teach you. Here, AV evasion means just a normal antivirus which are used in the system, how to evade them. Let's say your Bit Defender is there, or Microsoft Defender is there, Casper Sky or Quick Kill is there. So they will be teaching you how you can go for it. But there okay. is not a complete success rate because the antivirus keeps on updating their signature database. So okay. here it can be a problem, but they have work according to the ideological scenarios here. So we'll be performing no. that. But if we want to go for the WAF, so sir, I need to apologize to you because OSCP's content doesn't allow us to go beyond this. Got it. That's okay. a part of a web application pen test. Complete core web application pen test. Okay. 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 Okay.